describes our initial experience with the Zepto Precision Pulse Capsulotomy, a device that's designed to create a consistent 5.5 circular capsulotomy. Here we're using a 2.2 millimeter incision. We're just going to examine the device first. This is the top uh, of the device here. We'll just turn around and look and see the circular nitinol ring, the push rod present there, and the, and the soft silicone skirt. Uh, prior to insertion, we're going to push the push rod all the way forward here to engage the nitinol ring, ovalizing it here. You can see it's flexible and this creates a collapsible um, silicone sleeve and nitinol ring. This will allow us to place the device through that 2.2mm uh, incision. So just to make sure the push rod is engaged properly, there's no abnormalities and no debris present. Uh, just checking that prior to insertion into the eye. We'll slide the device into the anterior chamber through that 2.2mm incision fairly easily using a pair of forceps. And now we will then uh, pull the push rod back um, using the slider on top of the device. The push rod remains, however, in the shaft just past the silicone skirt. This will allow us to have good control of the device. Heel up and tip down a bit to ensure we have good applanation of the anterior capsule. Here we're going to center the uh, device, the silicone skirt, on the first Purkinje image as you see right there. Once we have it centered well, we will ask our assistant to turn the suction on and the push rod is retracted right away as you see within a few seconds and we see bubbles starting to now emerge and be suctioned into the shaft. Once we reach maximum suction you can see the bubbles basically um, essentially stop flowing. At this point in time we will then ask the energy to be applied. There you see it and this will create the cut and within one or two seconds later we will then ask the assistant to release the suction and now we have the creation of the capsulotomy. The device is then pulled out, it collapses nicely here through the main incision and now we can see uh, the nice circular device well centered here. Uh, FACO goes quite uneventfully having a nice strong uh, capsulotomy uh, as well as cortical removal, uh, fairly routine as per routine cases. In this case we are here now injecting some viscoelastic, typically a cohesive here and the intraocular lens is uh, folded and placed through that 2.2 millimeter incision. Of course, the beauty of this device is consistent capsulotomies, 5.2 millimeter in size, to create an excellent overlap of the IOL uh, with excellent strength. And of course, this is one of the most critical aspects of the safety of FACO, as well as effective lens position and the precision of the refractive result.